All right, so here we go. Here's the first view of the Hyperion EOS 720i Super Duo. This is the newest duo charger that Hyperion's put out. Not only the newest, but also the most powerful charger they've produced yet. So uh, we'll go ahead and get them turned on so you guys can see what she looks like. No, she's much like anything else. Um, cool feature about this uh, this charger versus the other duos that they produce is it does have two screens on it. Um, very fitting since it's a dual charger. Um, at first, when I kind of looked at it, I didn't really know why they did that. But really, what it is is it allows you to um, switch between sides very quickly and look at both at the same time as it's operating. Um, the way that they indicate that is if you look here, you have the little blinking one. Um, if you press your channel button. They'll switch to the side, letting you control both sides. Um, this feature is fairly nice. Um, the charger overall is quite a bit wider than uh, than the other chargers they produce. It's much larger, as you can see here, in comparison to my hand. Um, overall, it's fairly compact, but yeah, it's a pretty big charger. Okay, for a better comparison, I have the EOS 1210, which was um, pre to the 610 balanced charger. But as you can see, it's a quite a bit bigger charger overall. Thanks. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is let's go through a connection sequence real quick. We'll go to side one. This is from my uh, 3S 5 amp battery here. This is from Thunder Power. Connecting first, um, like in the past, uh, the manual tells us that we're supposed to connect our balance tap first and then our main lead. Um, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter all that much. But uh, okay, So that's our connectors in. So just like any of the other menus, all you have to do is just hold down your enter button since I've preset this one up. Just hold them down. Yeah, solo, or you can do sync mode. Um, right now I don't have another battery plugged in, so it's not going to notice it. So again, hold them down, go through normal check. Three cells, that corrects. 12.4, she's fairly charged. And she'll go through standard paces. Cool deal is on the um, finish screen. You can go back, and what they do is they actually give you all the information all at once that's pertinent. So you have your voltage, how many amps, your TCS cutoff, you know, your percentage, voltage in at the top here, and then your current milliamp um, totally put into the pack. So it's kind of nice with this little little screen they put in. Um, balance your tap like anything else is fairly standard and lets you see your voltage gap and then also your cells in series there. We'll go and cancel that, and we'll go and show you the quick function of how the uh, series adapter works here for. Um, Charging together. Okay, so with both batteries connected, um, both balance taps first and then main leads. As you can see here, the first is set up correctly because it's a 5 amp um, 3S pack right there. The second screen, um, or second side of the charger, isn't set up at all. It's on a completely different pack. The cool feature is if I press enter and go to a uh, sync charge, it'll actually just cross over to the other side automatically. As you can watch here, it'll ask for batteries. Ask for both, did both three cells, that's correct. Hold them down and she'll go. So from there you can see the other side automatically and um, switches and syncs with the other side. So that's kind of a charge sequence overall. It's a fairly, uh, fairly simple, almost like any other uh, Hyperion charge they produce. On the left side we have our temp port for side one and also our USB port. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm pretty impressed with the way that they set this up. All right, and on our right side, all we have is our temp port, um, the optional temp port you can get from Hyperion. I think it's only about four or five bucks. Worth it, maybe. For lithium packs, you don't have to worry about it too much because the balancers will take care of it. Um, the other deal with this, like any other, it's a seven cell uh, charge balancer. Overall, I'm pretty impressed. If there's anything else you guys would like to see? Okay, now to get your um, computer connected to this so you can use the Hyperion link and control, all you have to do is grab the included cable that they give with it, plug them into the side of the charger here, just like any other little device, and then plug them into your computer. And after installing the software that comes with it for your computer, you can also get updated versions on the line. We'll um, show you that screen. The charger is actually fully controllable and uh, um, functional, operational from your computer. Um, here's your opening screen if you want to. You can pause these at any time. This is what your startup screen looks like. Um, this next screen is also the system analyzer. It shows you all of your charging features and also on the bottom is a graph to show you how your batteries are working and charging. This is your memory function. Um, here you, you've got all your 20 memory slots. You also have your voltage 
inputs, you can change them all. Um, this is your memory cycle, or basically what is done in every cycle that the charges produce. So you can kind of analyze and figure out what your batteries are doing. Here's the uh, system setup. So basically, here you can modify your power supply input and C charger.